Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema niyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa rational functions, rational equations, and rational inequalities. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ng like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, mga anak ko, dito i-discuss ko paano nyo ba madi-differentiate yung rational function sa rational equation sa rational inequalities. At ano ba yung dapat maging clue ninyo para masabi nyo na ay ito ay rational function, ay ito pala ay rational equation, at ito naman ay rational inequalities. Okay, so a rational function is such that f of x. Okay, ang dami na natin na pag-usapan na function. Okay, but this one, rational siya. Tandaan nyo, pag rational, ibig sabihin fraction form siya. Okay, so we have here f of x is equal to p of x over q of x. See? O, oh, dahil yan ay rational, dapat fraction form siya. Wherein you have the numerator. Okay, wait for my ball pen. Ayan. Wherein we have the numerator and then the denominator. Okay? Where Q of X, ibig sabihin, yung denominator natin should not be equal to 0. Ha? Hindi siya pwedeng maging 0. Why? Kasi magiging undefined siya. Diba? Hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng 0 sa denominator kasi yung value niya magiging undefined. We cannot determine the value. So, the, the domain of a rational function can be calculated. Pwede natin siyang ma-solve. Okay, so ano ba example ng rational function? Dapat meron kayong f of x or yung y. Okay, wherein we can substitute the value for x para makuha natin yung mga range natin. Okay, example nito is f of x is equal to x plus 6 over x minus 2. O, oh, yan. This is an example of rational function, ha? You have the function of, we have the f of x, and then we have a rational, okay? Ito, fraction form siya, okay? Pwede naman ding y is equal to x squared plus x minus 3 over x minus 1. This is also a rational function, and then, uh, we can also have f of x is equal to x squared plus 8 over x plus 6. Okay, so this is also an example of rational function. Now, yung rational equation is an equation containing at least one rational expression. And a rational expression typically contain a variable in the denominator. Okay, so ang rational equation ay isang equation, okay, na in fraction form. O, paano natin siya bibigyan ng example para mas maintindihan ninyo? Suppose I have here x plus a 5 over x minus 6 equals 1 over 3. This is an example of rational equation. Ang clue nyo dito, may equal sign siya. Pero paano nyo madi-differentiate ito kay rational function? Kasi si rational function, may equal sign din siya. Okay? Sa rational function, ang madalas you have f of x and then y. Pero kay rational equation, you have a fraction also on the other side. Ha? Isa pa. Suppose I have your x squared minus 8 over x plus 2 and then equals to 9. O, oh, yan. Yan ay mga example ng rational equation. And pwede din namang x squared plus 2x minus 8 over x uh, plus, o oh, pwedeng x lang, o oh, kung gusto nyo x lang, and then equals to, 
a uh, wait is it ball pen equals to 3 over 5 so this is an example of po Oh, po. Uh, again of rational equation. So, si rational function, kasi baka tanongin kayo ang similarity nila, pareho sila na ang symbol ay equal sign. Okay? Pero sa, sa rational function, you have this f of x and then yung y. Ha? Function kasi siya. Ito, hindi. Kumbaga, equal sila. May rational ka, may rational ka, then they are equal. And then, pwede naman ding whole number lang, ganyan. Okay, and then you have irrational. So, mga expression siya, tapos inequate sila. Okay, kaya naging rational equation sila. Okay, now, what is now rational inequality? Yung rational inequality, para rin siyang rational equation. Pero, hindi equal sign ang gamit. We use for rational inequality dahil hindi nga sila equal. Inequality nga. We have greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. So, eto yung mga symbol na clue ninyo para masabi natin uh, rational inequality sila. Provided that dapat yung expression, expression natin ay rational. Okay, suppose we have here 2x plus a 4 over x minus 2 is greater than 9. Okay? So, ito, inequality siya. Kasi meron kang rational expression and then you have the inequality symbol. Pwede din namang x squared minus 8 over x plus a 7 is less than or equal to 10. Okay? So, ito, rational inequality din siya. Kasi, rational siya, expression, and then you have the inequality symbol. And pwede rin namang x squared plus 2 over 8 is uh, less than, ay, sorry. Lagyan natin ito na. Uh, x plus 6 is less than 1 half, for example. So, ito ay rational inequality din siya. Okay, so anong pinagkaiba? Uh, ng ating rational equation sa inequality yung symbol. Kasi rational equation uses equal sign while the rational inequality uses greater than, less than, greater than, or equal to, and less than or equal to. Okay? Pero pareho lang sila ni rational equation. Ang pinagkaiba lang nila yung symbol nila. Pero pare-pareha sila o dito pareho uh, Bawal maging, katulad nung nasa taas, bawal din maging zero yung denominator, ha? Bawal maging zero ang ating mga denominator. Let's identify this. Identify if the following is rational function or rational equation. So, x plus 3 over x minus 2 equals 1 fourth. So, may equal sign siya, di ba? Ang pagpipilian lang natin dyan kung function ba siya or equation. Kasi silang dalawa may equal sign. Pero dahil wala kang f of x dyan or y or meron kang dalawang rational expression na inequal mo sa isa't isa, then we can say that this one is a rational equation. Okay? Next, x minus 4 over x minus 5 is greater than 3. So, ang pagpipili, pagpipilian mo lang dyan is kung rational equation ba siya or rational inequality. But since you have this inequality symbol, then we will have this as rational inequality. Okay, for the third one, we have f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x minus 2. So, may equal sign siya. Pagpipilian nyo lang dyan, function or equation. Pero dahil you have f of x here, and then it is a rational function. Ayun. So, ganun lang mga anak. Ngayon kung naiintindihan nyo ang video na ito at natulungan ko kayo kung paano nyo ba maiintindihan niyang si rational function, rational equation, and rational inequality, please si comment yan sa ating comment section ha. Mga anak, help me up this video para makita rin naman ng iba na need ng guidance kung paano ba sasagutan yung mga gantong klase ng problems. Okay? And uh, please visit our Facebook page, Love Math TV. Please follow me here, mga anak. Sige na, kayo naman ni. Eh. Pagbigyan nyo na si Teacher Maria. Okay? And syempre, 
let's uh always remember na let's spread the love of math thank you and bye